Hidden Object Guru here with a quick explanation of what the debug mode in Man of Medan was, and why I think it should be both patched back into the game, and included in Supermassive's next game, Little Hope. So the idea of the debug mode was reviewers or the developers could load up any chapter in the game they wanted, and then they would get a chance to answer some questions to set flags about what had happened previously in the game in order to play out the scene however they wanted. I'm going to give you an example of this now. I don't technically have access to the debug mode anymore, right? But, and this is good, any save file I made by using the debug mode to go into, I can still access. So I can't just choose whatever level or show you the secret ending anymore, but I can show you how the debug mode works and why I think it's so useful. So let's do that now. You can always tell when I use the debug mode because it's got 0.0 of the game complete, even though I'm obviously very far into the game. So let's set ritual, hit, hit continue. As you can see, you start by deciding which character you want to be playing as. So theatrical cut. Do you want to skip debug? No, I'm trying to show them how debug works. All right. So uh, this is a cool feature. So there's both short and long where you can answer only st questions having to do with, as this says, ballroom, which is weird because it's called ritual elsewhere. There's lots of weird titling in this game. Anyway, uh, so that's going to be like, did he get a gas mask? Did he pick up the wrench? Did she grab the knife? Blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, or you can do long questions, which are going to be relevant to the whole game. So you can pretty much go to every decision point in the game, determine how everybody feels about everybody else, which does affect the conversations they'll have. It's kind of neat. Uh, we're going to do short now, but if you'd like to see what the full list is, I can always uh, put one of those later. Did uh, Charlie die in the locker? Oh, nice. That depends whether uh, you find the body. So that's nice. Okay. Did Fliss pick up the knife? Let's say no. All right. And then you're jumping right into the game. Unfortunately, the game doesn't let you decide uh, whether Brad uh, whether Brad got the gas mask. So, yeah, it looks like Fliss is going to be getting her head smashed in. Anyway, here's the point. See, I think this tool is fantastic. It lets you, again, go to whatever level you want and set the game's parameters so you get the exact playthrough of that scene you wanted. It essentially gives you access to the full butterfly layout that the game insists exists with its opening uh, sequences, just like they did in Until Dawn, where they showed you an a the actual, well, simulated veins on a butterfly's wing to explain the concept of how branching decisions create infinite possibilities. Well, the debug mode lets you see all of those possibilities if you choose to. And as you can see, it's already made up with the same decision tree as the main game, so it's completely user-friendly. I really hope that Supermassive Games sees their way to patch this in, and they, it doesn't have to be available from the get-go. Maybe it unlocks once you've played the game on regular and in curator mode, right? Or once you've gotten all of or most of the achievements or all of or most of the collectibles, things like that, right? Just give us some way for, like, super fans of the game to just be able to jump into whatever scene they want and see how all of the different ways it could have played out. I know I would love that, and I assume lots of other fans of the game would love that too. But anyway, uh, that's how the uh, debug menu worked. Uh, if you'd like to see the full layout of all of the debug choices you can have in the entire game, I will absolutely put that up. But for now... I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time, you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Uh, I will see you back here soon. Uh, oh yeah, if you want that, just mention in the comments below and I will make that video. I will see you back here very soon for the release of Little Hope, which we're going to be covering pretty extensively on the channel. But until then, we're going to say that's right. Au revoir.